Hello, and welcome to Medieval Mondays with Riley Nolan voiceovers. Seeing as we're now in the heart of spooky season, now is the perfect time for us to look at the holiday that we now know as Halloween and how it was celebrated in the medieval period. The holiday that we currently celebrate with costumes, trick-or-treating, and nighttime reveling was actually originally two separate holidays. One was the Christian celebration known as All Saints Day, which was held on the 1st of November. The day that we now all call All Hallows' Eve was actually the day before, and that was the jumpstart of the festivities. This holiday was held not only to honor the saints and martyrs that didn't already have a dedication day, but also to pray for the dead. This holiday was very important to the people in the medieval period because it was in this time that purgatory was implemented by the Catholic Church. It was taught that a soul could actually be released from purgatory through the prayers of their still living loved ones. The second holiday that birthed our modern day Halloween is the Celtic pagan festival known as Samhain. The proper pronunciation is actually Samhain. The origins of this festival can be traced back over 2,000 years and it was held in celebration of the end of summer, which was actually the end of the Celtic spiritual year, as well as enjoying the harvest and inviting in the start of winter. It was at this time of year that the Celtic pagans believed that the veil between the land of the living and the dead was thinnest. Because of this, they feared that the souls of the dead could return to our plane. Both traditions were celebrated with their own rituals. As stated by Aelfric of Ensham in the year 1000, the month begins on the day of the Mass for All Saints, and it welcomed in feasting, prayers, and other festivities. Our modern-day jack-o'-lantern can actually have its continued existence partially attributed to the purgatorial prayers that the medieval Christians would offer for their lost loved ones. Carving vegetables and placing a lit candle within was a harvest festival tradition that had actually been around for a while, but the medieval Christians would commemorate a soul with a lit candle, making it an easy practice to share. Samhain was often celebrated with large bonfires, dancing, and feasting. Bonfires were actually used in many Celtic pagan rituals, as they offered purification and protection. The bonfires burned at Samhain were believed to help the fairies and other spirits of nature in their crossing of the veil, and they would in turn ensure the continued survival of the people and their livestock. It was also a common belief that the souls of dead loved ones would cross the veil to visit their old homes during this time, and it was actually expected to offer them hospitality by serving a feast. Okay, these Samhain rituals are giving me high expectations for one day when I die, cross the veil to visit my still living loved ones. Yeah, I expect a feast, darn it. How did these two very different festivals combine to create our modern-day Halloween, I hear you ask? Well, let's get into that. While both traditions were celebrated with the undercurrent of belief that the spirits of the dead were nearer to us than any other time of year, it wasn't the sole reason for the modern-day ghoulish imagery that signifies our Halloween. Certain events that transpired in the medieval period inspired a fascination with the morbid and ghoulish. The Black Death, which, if you'll recall from episode one, ravaged medieval Europe from the year 1347 to 1350, drew our attention to the humorous depictions of skeletal entities in art and culture. Humorous, that's what it said, it said humorous. It was around this time that the imagery was absorbed into a festival once believed to invite the spirits of the dead back into the land of the living. The witch trials that took place in the late medieval ages also had a heavy influence on the development of our modern-day Halloween. 
witches on broomsticks, black cats, devils, and ghouls all mixed into the holiday. I hope you've enjoyed this very spooky episode of Medieval Mondays. Don't forget to tune back in two weeks from today for a special monstrous episode of Medieval Mondays. Until then, you keep those bonfires burning and prepare for some feasting. I have been Riley Nolan, and thank you for listening to this week's episode of Medieval Mondays.